Hey everybody, you know it, Jig and Jerry here. Well, look at this pier. Woo, I love it. Anyway, look, it is 2015, and uh, it's January, and we're here in South Carolina, and it is one of our coldest months between January and February here. And, um, you know, we're going to concentrate on uh, fishing for, of course, some winter trout in our sheephead uh, this month, uh, me and some others. Uh, and we're mostly going to concentrate on sheephead because they are the most prominent uh, biting right now. And they get really large this time of year over here at the Mount Pleasant Pier. Uh, I will be uh, going for some trout to see how they do on live bait, live mud minnows. And of course, test it against artificials and see, uh, you know, which does better. But uh, we're really interested in seeing it. Can we keep the large sheephead up? So, I'll tell you what, let me stop talking, let's get busy, and I'll show you what we've gotten into. Alright. And this is Pat Durian from Wellman, Iowa, trying his luck out here at the Mount Pleasant Pier. <laughs> what you got there? I got me a little trout. Is that your vacation trout? That's my vacation trout there, are, Jake are, and Jerry. Isn't vacation, trout supposed to be, isn't vacation trout supposed to be a little bigger? Well, you would think so, but I really don't know. Get close to the camera so it'll look like a two pounder. There you go. You oh, get, get my yeah, there you get go. My... You, you hold it up like this. Yeah. And there you go, right there. Let me go ahead and get a let me get a picture of you and your trout. Alright, buddy. Ready? Alright, I'll email that to you. <laughs> Alright guys, Jig and Jerry, Mount Pleasant Pier. See Don here working hard. He's already caught spotted sea trout, weak fish, and uh, as you can see, boom, nice fat guy there. And uh, that's going to make me my sandwich for the week. Uh huh. That's right. This is how we're starting off January 2015. So got to start it off pretty good. You can already picture this, right? That's right, he's going in the cooler. We'll catch y'all later. Okay, that was great. We'll get into trout here and there later on in this episode, but uh, now I'm going to show you, you know, we're concentrating on some sheephead here. So, uh, beautiful day on and off, real cold days here and there, but um, let's see what we got into. All right, guys, Jig and Jerry here, Mount Pleasant Pier. Look, January 5th already. And, uh, Starting out the new year, great. Got a 19 and a half inch sheep head. Uh huh, ka ching. And hopefully there's more to go. We'll see. The weather turned out great. It's supposed to get bad this coming week though. But uh, it's nice and calm. And uh, I got me a good sandwich here. Maybe you can get one. All right, later. Got me a nice 17 inch on mud minnows, guys. Woo! January is doing pretty good. And he's mad. So, ah. he put him back. Good eating. He's a sandwich. And he's a mad sandwich. So. All right, Jeff, yeah. you go, boy. Nice, buddy. That's gonna make a couple of sandwiches. It's gonna make a couple of sandwiches. Looks like 2015 is gonna turn out to be pretty good, huh? Hey, hey. All nice. All right, good sheep bed, man. Don, you got your 19 and three quarters? Oh, yeah. Now, about 20, though. is that close enough to a 20 for you? No. Yeah, that looks close enough to me. Look at that, guys. Well, we round up. Look at that. I mean, come on. Look how close that is. All right. Look, 19 and 3 quarters. You got your 20. Did good. Uh, what is that? Is that Got to be exceed 14 inches. 14 inches? Yep. Oh, I can use this. 20 inches. I can use this. Somebody call this out. 22 inches. Hey, everybody. Jig and Jerry here at Mount Pleasant Pier. It is January the 26th, 2015. It's cold, it's windy, but me, Don, are over here, or should I say Don and I, are out here fishing for sheephead down to 
today I'm using 8 pound test monofilament on a light action rod. This is considered ultra light fishing for sheephead. Now, this little teeny thin 8 pound test is pretty tough around all the structure fishing for sheephead, but I'm trying to land some ultra light records and have a great time. What have I been able to do so far? Well, check this out. There you go. 19 inch sheep head this morning. And uh, I'm gonna let them go so other people can catch some. Because there's been a lot of people keeping a lot of sheep head today. Uh, what should I say this whole entire month? I'm gonna let them go so we can get bigger, fatter, and juicier. Good looking fish. We'll see if we can get some more later. See, not all of them are big. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Crap. There's another one. All right, Hal, how many fish are you gonna catch at once? Now, it looks like there's two poles going on. They are, hey, that hook looks uh, pretty bent up, doesn't it? I would replace that. Can All you right. put a new barb on there? Wow. Now, what happened was, Hal's over here fishing for his sheep head in this corner and he had both rods go off one minute from each other while he was fighting one here the other one went off so of course we had to dive in give the guy a hand try to get the net in there get the other rod up so he's over here fighting two fish at the same time that is a good sheep head day Woohoo! look at that back on all right, guys, Duke and Jerry, out here. As you can see, Don fishing, Hal's fishing it up. I'm using eight pound test today. Uh, Siege fishing line does a great job, and I just landed a 21 inch sheep. So check this guy out. Want to see what he did to my hook? Look at this. That's how tiny of a hook I'm using. As you can see, he really, really really bent that out pretty good not bad but it held up well and there he is <laughs> oh we got another one action on the board hold on ah uh, you know what he knew I was coming with the camera 
No, he got off. All right, we need to get back at it. Beautiful day out here. January. It's the end of January, by the way. And uh, we're doing pretty good. Let me get this big guy. Ah. As you can see, there's my boot. You see how big he is. 21 inches. Let's keep it going. I got to get him weighed in later. Hey, everybody. Jake and Jerry Mount Pleasant Pier out here with Don, which just ran. And uh, fishing, eight pound test, ultralight category, salt water. Fishing for big sheep, head, trying to beat eight pounds. I think I might have done it. I'm just gonna pop it, put this up. gentleman in black there his name's Dale and he snapped a shot with his cell phone there as you can see that uh, I'm actually using for the cover of this episode I thought it was a fantastic shot he did a great job yeah hey that's my nine pound one ounce sheephead on eight pound test fishing line. Saltwater ultralight action, guys. Woo! Donster, is that your eight pound test rod? Eight pound, eight pound test. Yeah, siege, not sage. <laughs> oh, and it just unhooked. Good job. Fantastic, gorgeous fish, Jeff. Oh yeah, let's see, he's got to be at least. It's so windy out here. Woo! Let's check it out, you got it? He got to be, got to be. That's a gorgeous fish. That's a man witch. Oh yeah, 18. Yep. Oh, yep. nope, he's more. He's a little over 18. 18 and 18 a half. 18 and a half inches. Good half. job. You can go ahead and yell Al again. <laughs> oh man, he got war. He fought back. Nice fish. What you got there, Jeff? That's gonna make a sandwich and a half, isn't it? Yeah, that'd make a nice good sandwich. All right, everybody. Well, I'll tell you what. January 2015, starting out great. Sheephead have been big, been fun to catch. Others have been having a great time. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of 2015. And I'll tell you what. Come on out. Give it a try. You never know. You might end up on the Jig and Jerry show. So, I tell you, if this is your first time viewing... Don't forget, look down, there's a subscribe button. It only lets you know when I have new shows available. So, like I always say, good luck out there, have fun fishing, take care everybody.